Hello and uh, welcome to the Romania Roundtable. My name is uh, Alex Sherban. I'm a founding partner of uh, Sherban and Musnech Associates in uh, Bucharest, a uh, member of the CEC Government Relations uh, Network of Companies. First, I'd like to congratulate uh, Tom Barnhart and uh, the CE Business Media Group. Uh, pleased to join. The, I'm pleased to join for the first time this uh, this incredible uh, uh, this incredibly important event, uh, and happy to see some familiar faces around the table. Uh, Joseph Phillips from uh, Amber Infrastructure, the Three Seas Investment Fund. Uh, of course, our friend uh, Marek Matrasek and our colleagues from CEC. Uh, Central Europe is close to my heart. Uh, having lived uh, in Central Europe and in the United States uh, for uh, all of my life. Um, I have to also uh, uh, reveal that through my other capacities, I'm a senior fellow with the Atlantic Council in the United States, uh, which has a very important uh, presence and footprint in Central Europe. Just to give you a few examples of uh, the work that uh, the Atlantic Council has done on digitalization, uh, digitalization in Central and Eastern Europe, Building Regional Cooperation is a report that we've uh, launched recently. Uh, military Mobility, a comprehensive assessment of European and regional military mobility. Energy security and the critical role of transatlantic energy cooperation. And uh, the US and Central Europe shaping the post-COVID-19 transatlantic agenda. Uh, particularly the last subject, uh, very relevant as uh, a new European Commission has come into office last year uh, and the new administration in Washington is, uh, is about to start. So it is not by chance that uh, NATO speaks about stronger with allies when, uh, when we are in the region. Uh, it's not by chance that a Three Seas initiative is, uh, is now active, uh, uh, moving from country to country. Uh, but strengthening connections, I think that's the name of the game here in the region, uh, and uh, and that's where this uh, this uh, conference comes in. Um, a few words about U.S.-Romania uh, relations. We're celebrating 140 years of uh, diplomatic relations, but beyond this, a strategic partnership that has seen 2% missile defense, uh, the MK military facilities in uh, near Constanza on the Black Sea region, uh, industrial cooperation and offset are big on the agenda, but also energy cooperation uh, for nuclear civilian use, infrastructure development, and we're not talking only about the Black Sea and Constanza, we're talking about Gdansk, Gdansk and Constanza, uh, 5G and cybersecurity, and uh, last but not least, the important work that uh, Romania and other countries in the region have, uh, have done together with the United States to fight COVID. Uh, both in the region as well as in the United States. So, without further ado, and uh, with these thoughts uh, as uh, as an opening remark, I'd like to uh, to welcome the three panelists today, and uh, to uh, to give the floor to the first uh, speaker, State Secretary uh, Dan Dragan, uh, in the Ministry of uh, Economy, Energy, um, and Foreign Investment of Romania. Mr. State Secretary, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, honorable panelists, dear moderator and distinguished guests, uh, as a very dynamic uh, growing economy, Romania bundles together some of the most promising businesses opportunity in the Central and Eastern Europe. Therefore, it has been succeeded in maintaining its status over years as a leading recipient of foreign direct investment in the region. Past productivity gains a highly skilled labor force, sound economic policy, and overall safety are key success. Romania has a cost-effective business environment, enjoying the fourth lowest gas prices and the fifth lowest uh, electricity prices in EU, and one of the best internet broadband infrastructure in the world. Romania also has one of the lowest tax rates in the EU, which favors industrial investments and startup initiatives. As a part of the European Union, Romania stands of the eighth largest markets in the EU and the sixth population, offering investors highly promising prospects. If you refer to the Central and Eastern Europe alone, then Romania comes as the second largest economy. But in addition to the large domestic market, Romania is a gateway to the EU single market of 500 million consumers. 
Moreover, Romania enjoys yet another significant international affiliation, NATO membership, standing as a pillar of strength in maintaining stability and security in the region. The Romanian government has been demonstrating its full commitment towards facilitating and supporting in any way incoming foreign investors that can have a critical contribution to the economic and social development of our country and region. Therefore, the country awards generous state scheme and, as I mentioned, a highly competitive tax system, one of the lowest flat tax, VAT and income in the EU tax exemption or on reinvested profit and income tax exemption. This friendly business climate stands for sound, solid ground in achieving sustainable global competitiveness. Moreover, EU membership makes any company presence in Romania to be, to be eligible for EU funds, which are expected to reach almost 80 billion euro between 2021 and 2027. In addition, EU membership provides for a predictable, competitive and fair legal framework for all economic actors. As widely mentioned earlier today, we have set up the, the Free Seas Initiative together with our partners in the region, aiming to drive capital and investment into priority domains such as transport infrastructure, energy and digital infrastructure projects of an aggregated value of 100 billion euro. The framework narrows the development gap among various regions of Europe, benefiting not only of the free seas initiatives countries, but also the European Union as a whole. On the one hand, transport investments in the region will lead to increased trade and an uptake in competitiveness of our region. And therefore we have a great efforts put to design and promote bankable large-scale infrastructure projects. On one hand, allow me to emphasize investment in energy projects, which in a national and regional context should balance the energy system, strengthen energy supply safely and integrate renewables in line with EU Green Deal. Without a doubt, the world is undergoing in fast transition in terms of energy generation and the role played by clean energy sources. In fact, the paradigm shifts focus around two components, climate change and economic prosperity. Romania is fully committed to its decarbonization and climate targets by dedicating time, resources, expertise and efforts to develop clean energy capacities and can stimulate and enhance environment protection access to electricity and energy security, while benefits extend to our region through efficient interconnectivity. Amongst others, we need to enhance security through better connecting energy infrastructure, including from north, north to south and from east to west. In this regard, at both of the three seas initiative level and the national level, the Romanian government, through the ministry that I am representing, commit openness, grants and full support for investment in energy projects. Here I would like to highlight the funds that will be available, uh, especially for through different uh, mechanisms from the European uh, Union for the next decade. And here I have to mention the modernization fund, which have a value, uh, minimum value of 6 billion euro up to 9 million billion, uh, billion euro that will be highly dedicated to the transformation of the uh, energetic system of Romania in order to achieve the targets that we committed through the National Climate and Energy Plan up to 30.7% renewable in total consumption by 2030. Now I would like to refer to the bilateral relation between Romania and United States and in this context context, we have undertaken big steps in developing our strategic partnership in terms of the energy component, namely cooperation in the civil nuclear field. Our countries undertake together a multi-billion project for the construction of two nuclear reactors and the refurbishment of another. More broadly, the strategic partnership between Romania and the United States extends our investment well beyond, beyond the nuclear field across economic trade and investment. 
U.S. companies in Romania have a strong presence as Romania become an important gateway for them into the European Union. The investment in each other economies runs into billions of dollars, and this only will be stepped up by the recently signed Memorandum of Understanding with the Export-Import Bank of United States, which will facilitate investment infrastru in infrastructure such as road, rail, and gas storage. Having this in mind, Romania is today a country of quality that is fast advancing in global value chains. The country stands as a true benchmark for the region with well-educated workforce, competitiveness, wages, natural resources, and a strong appetite for innovation. Foreign and U.S. investors have found so far great opportunities in information technology, automotive, telecommunication, energy services, manufacturing, consumer product sector, and banking. But there still remain plenty of opportunity for investments. On our side, the government, we are fully committed to secure value-added investments that are green and sustainable, innovation-intensive, and provide the maximum economic impact. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. State Secretary. I um, appreciate uh, your presentation and uh, quite uh, quite timely that that we are speaking in this forum also about U.S. Romania uh, economic relations. There was a recent uh, visit uh, to Washington of your minister, and a number of the important topics that you mentioned uh, were on the agenda: uh, nuclear civilian uh, development. Um, uh, transportation infrastructure. So we look forward to talking more about these, uh, perhaps when uh, when we have the discussion. Now I would like to turn the um, uh, microphone over to uh, Mr. Christian Ilie, uh, Deputy General Manager at the Ministry of Economy, Energy, and Business uh, Environment, and uh, the head of the uh, investment agency of uh, of Romania, which is called Invest Romania. Um, this is one of the uh, the key one-stop shops uh, that uh, our government uh, relies on for foreign investments uh, to uh, to be well uh, welcomed and uh, and guided when they come to Romania. Uh, Mr. Ilia, please, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Um, I will try to be short. I will try to be uh, clear. So, uh, Invest Romania is indeed one-stop shop for the foreign investment uh, uh, companies. So, uh, I will present you now some of the competitive advantages of Romania um, and uh, promote Romania as destination for investment, show the economical potential and uh, sectorial uh, uh, interest. Of course, the fiscal uh, facilities. So, I will go further to the next slide. Yes, this is it. So very shortly, Romania, it's uh, more than 238 uh, square kilometers uh, uh, surface, is the second country in the Central Europe and the ninth country in the European Union as, uh, as the size, ranking the seven on in terms of population with about 19.4 million inhabitants. Um, in, um, is the third best performing country in terms of uh, GDP growth in 2019, and one of the main recipients of foreign direct investment in the region with more than 88.3 billion uh, euro in stock and 5.2 uh, billion euro in FDI uh, flowed for 2019. Uh, being uh, located at the crossroad of the three major markets, the European Union, Commonwealth of Independent States and the Middle East, it's a bridge between East and West for over 500 million consumers. consumers. Uh, what is important is that since 2004, we are a member of uh, NATO. We became a member of the European Union in 2007, and we even had in 2019 the, the presidency of the Council of the European Union and uh, with, uh, the, with the United States uh, since 1997, we have a strategic partnership that I want to mention. Um, GDP growth, so uh, of course, as all the countries, we had a decline in 2009, but finally in 2017, we, uh, we reached a peak of 7.1, uh, the best performing country in the European Union at that time. Um, let's see the impact of the COVID in the, uh, on, on, um, 
on the GDP. As you can see, um, uh, we are uh, minus 10 uh, in, um, uh, right now, and we are forecasting at the end of the year a, three, a minus 3.8%. Uh, but as you can see, um, regarding uh, our position, uh, uh, the whole Europe is doing uh, not very well. So we are in the front of other countries, as you can see, I'm not going to uh, mention them now. Uh, this was uh, the thing I told you already about, the FDI flow and the stock. So uh, this was just the, to show you the, the, the evolution of the FDI stock. Now, talking about uh, where was this channeled, uh, most of the, uh, of the FDI stock was channeled to the manufacturing with 29% uh, of a total FDI, followed by constructions and uh, real estate with um, approximately 17. And you can see also the rest here. Inflation. Um, we are, uh, we had in 2019, uh, 3.8. Eight inflation and we are uh, expecting the forecast for 2020 will be 2.8. Um, Unemployment rate, let's go to, to things that can, oh, sorry. Um, so we had in three, uh, in 2019, 3.9, uh, uh, the average unemployment rate, uh, which is um, uh, way below the European Union average. Uh, and you have to take into account the fact that uh, not all the people are registered at the unemployment office. Um, that's why probably it's a little bit higher. Anyhow, um, there are some regions where the unemployment rate is very low and others that are higher. So Bucharest, for example, and the western part of the country, the values are going at 1, 2 or 2 percent, where other regions like uh, the uh, north south of the country uh, will go to uh, almost 10% unemployment. At the end of this year, we are expecting an um, average unemployment rate of uh, 5.1. Minimum wage, as you can see, uh, Romania has the third lowest minimum gross salary in the European Union, having uh, still a uh, high skilled workforce. To give you an idea, in uh, the minimum gross salary uh, valid from uh, in January 2020 was 2,200 RON. That will be approximately 460 euro. Um, of course, people with higher education and uh, an IT sector, they, uh, they wouldn't work for this money. But anyhow, the, uh, the, the salary is very competitive. Um, talent pool. Talent pool is actually, I'm just going to show you five of the most uh, uh, um, uh, the, the well-known and, and, and the, the, the best universities in, in uh, Romania. You see they are spread all over the, the surface of, of Romania. And uh, for example, in uh, 2018, we had about 82,000 graduates only from those five uh, universities. As you can see, of course, uh, this is not enough. The people also have to work. So I wanted to show you the, uh, the vocational training and the post-secondary foreman uh, education. So, um, for example, 2018, we had 52,000 graduates in this um, vocational post-secondary and foreman education. Languages, yeah, so this is somewhere where we are very good. So uh, we uh, do speak a lot of languages, as you can see down here. Uh, there are also people uh, um, speaking uh, native uh, Hungarian or German in uh, Romania, but uh, English, you see, it's 90% of the people in high school of the people are, are studying English. So English won't be a problem anywhere in Romania. Um, talking about uh, of, um, uh, excellence, centers of excellence. Um, so um, I want to give you a few examples of centers of excellence operating in Romania. So starting with Renault Technology Romani, it's the Renault second largest FDI center in the world and the largest outside France. Almost 3000 Romanian engineers are working there and covering this uh, uh, global research and development operations. The LI um, is the extreme light infrastructure it's a project that uh, will construct the most powerful uh, laser uh, beam in the world. It's about five petawatt of, uh, of power concentrated in one laser beam. 
and uh, it's a place where uh, uh, Romanian and international scientists uh, are, are working together uh, for different applications looking into it, like medicine, nuclear, physics, and other. Uh, um, so, and then other examples, I'm not going to say too much on this. You see, uh, Bosch uh, is present here for more than 25 years, and they do have also a research center. Hela, it's also German uh, parts manufacturers, it also has in Krajowa a research center, there's also a technical center in uh, Timisoara, Sonaka Air, um, Aerospace. Uh, they are making uh, components for uh, aircraft uh, and complex fuselage. Daimler is being, building the new Tronic 5G gearbox and the APG dual clutch transmission. Sabesh also. So those are just kind of examples. Uh, I'm not going to stay too long on this one. Um, as a competitive uh, cost for energy, for example, I can show you that we uh, uh, have the position 14 at the, uh, uh, the lowest prices at the natural gas and electricity. Uh, and uh, second uh, place in terms of average hourly cost with 7.7 .7 euro um, uh, in 2019. According to the World Bank, uh, doing business, we rank the 55th position uh, ahead of other countries like Italy, Luxembourg, Greece, and so further. This slide that comes is only to give you an idea about what uh, what is what can you do with the same money amount of money in Romania uh, compared to other. Uh, so you can see down the, that with the salary of 2,000 euro uh, for the same level and standard of living, uh, you would need. Uh, about 3,700 euro in uh, Germany, Berlin, and uh, almost 5,000 euro in Paris. Um, this is a slide that should be very interesting. It's about the tax system. So as you can see, our VAT decreases from uh, uh, since 2015 uh, to 2020 at 19. So the VAT is 19%. Uh, and it's also differentiated according to the activity. We have 9% for... Uh, uh, food product, 5% uh, for accommodation, so 19% 19% it's the VAT. Um, then uh, the um, employee pays 10% uh, of the income tax and 35% for social security, while the uh, the, the company only pays 2.25% of the total tax. But what is interesting here is that the uh, employee income is zero for the people working on the ITC research and development. So the ITC development, software development uh, pays zero tax uh, on income, income tax and also the people working on the research and development. Uh, it's income tax for employee, it's, uh, it's a zero. But normally the corporate tax is 16% and uh, for dividend, uh, you will have to, to pay 5% for the sum you are taking out. Uh, those are the two stage ads, uh, very active and, uh, and very uh, useful, I find. So um, the two government decision, 807 and 332, that offers uh, one uh, uh, for investment uh, um, bigger than 1 million, it's quite a, a low level, and the other one for creation of 100 new jobs. Um, I, uh, there are different uh, uh, eligible costs like constructions of the new buildings, the rental of the, the cost for constructions linked to the initial investment and other technical equipment and installations, acquisition of intellectual property and so further. Uh, now, if we have to talk about uh, this was just an idea that also when you are uh, establishing a company into a um, um, in, in, into a, a technological or scientific park. You're also benefiting of uh, uh, different other facilities. And uh, on the same slide, you can you have some examples. So I, I can show you that other people were uh, happily uh, getting this state ad. So Dutch I don't know, had in 2019, 24 million ads, uh, state ad. Um, there are other, you know, uh, Renault, so Jeffy, Sonaka, Aloy with, uh, with the state ad intensity. Okay, state ad intensity is different uh, according to the region of uh, Romania. This is imposed by the European Union. So uh, most, I mean, 
uh, excepting uh, Bucharest, which is a very well developed region, and uh, the, the tax, uh, the, the intensity of the state ad is 10 percent, and the west of the country was well, is 35 percent. The Romania intensity of the state ad is 50 percent of the uh, uh, initial investment. Um, ports and airports, just to have an idea that uh, they are spread away along. We have also airports at the seaside, which is on the right side. And we have also some ports at the uh, Danube, because Danube, uh, the longest part of Danube, more than 1,000 kilometers, it's, uh, it's in Romania. Uh, talking about industrial parks, uh, uh, Romania has 94 industrial parks across the country. Uh, placed under different private or public um, ownership with a cumulative uh, area of 3,280 hectares. Uh, for those who intend to settle in industrial parks, uh, you will, they will have access to utility and benefit of packages depending on their objectives. They can benefit also from extension of uh, from uh, property, real estate, uh, town planning, you know, change uh, destination of the field. Coming here at the key facts for the top industries in Romania, we have the automotive, the ITC, and the aerospace. Um, the size of the automotive industry exceeds 30 billion uh, euro. And we have in Romania too, uh, one of the biggest uh, car manufacturers, the Renault and Ford. They are creating here, they are uh, constructing here uh, cars, and we also find uh, uh, other names like uh, Continental, Daimler, Schaeffer, Pirelli, and, and uh, uh, subparts sub or uh, uh, tires by, by Continental or Pirelli. The automotive represents 14% of the GDP and 20% of the national export. Um, IT and C is very important. We have very well prepared people who work in IT. Actually, the, um, the rumors are that in Microsoft, almost 40% of the people are speaking Romanian. That means being programmers from Romania. And uh, in, uh, in Romania, the, uh, the sector, uh, the industry is uh, represented by 4.5 billion euro. And the presence of on the Romanian market of the different big players like Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, Amazon and others. Uh, mentioning the aerospace sector. Um, and then about us, of course, we can talk about different things. The time is not our friend in this uh, thing. But I can uh, talk about, you know, uh, we spoke about automotive as well assembly production, but uh, also as uh, uh, as uh, Mr. Stech's secretary mentioned, the, the transport infrastructure either is relating to people, uh, goods, energy, or data is uh, is a is a, um, a subject of investment in Romania. The production on storage of energy based mainly on the renewable or green energy, hydrogen mentioning about this. Then uh, traditional agriculture, because agriculture is an important field in Romania. Actually, in the past, we were quite considered to be general of Europe. So there are uh, very interesting uh, uh, opportunities in, in, uh, uh, in agriculture. Tourism, because tourism, uh, we have the seaside, we have the mountains, and we have other, other uh, uh, interesting uh, places, like also the spa or the medical uh, treatment uh, tourism. Uh, digital transformation is uh, coming hell, very, very uh, heavy uh, uh, to us. We're also doing all the steps necessary uh, from creating those digital innovation hubs uh, and, until uh, introducing um, uh, digitalization in the public sector. And of course, creation of the 5G network, uh, use of intelligence, artificial intelligence, and implementation of the smart city, smart grid, in a smart Romania, something that we all together are uh, taking care also thinking about the cybersecurity issues. So this was in very short, and I hope it was very clear, trying to touch some, uh, some sensitive uh, uh, issues. And okay, we support at investment all the uh, interest and the, uh, the investor at all the stages uh, for, uh, from the decision making, uh, including after the implementation stage. Well, thank you very much for your attention. I'll, I'll be here for, for the questions. Thank Please. you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Ilie, Invest Romania, uh, telling us uh, uh, some of the important arguments and areas and uh, uh, 
uh, in quite diverse portfolio of uh, places where to invest in Romania. Um, uh, the the third panelist uh, it gives me quite uh, a pleasure to uh, to to introduce him. Uh, Sorin Preda is the chairman, uh, sorry, the CEO and founder of Global Vision, uh, which is a 360 degree business park development and investment platform uh, with over 500 million euro on the development uh, logistics centers and industrial facilities. Um, uh, who is quite active on the Romanian uh, entrepreneurial market uh, and scene in Romania. He was featured by Forbes in the prestigious uh, top 30 Romanian entrepreneurs who have built strong and fair businesses in Romania. Uh, he's active in uh, charity and also a founding board member of the Family Business Network in Romania. Um, I think we're preparing a uh, short video that uh, we're going to start uh, you off with uh, Sorin and so uh, um, will the organizers please uh, uh, facilitate the start of the uh, uh, okay put me on let's see if we of get the it. film yeah. okay of the video all right uh, oh, I need some help that yeah here we go I think we're ready. It's loading. Alex, I think we can start talking. Uh, because well, yes, why don't we, sorry, please, uh, go ahead. And if the movie comes on, you'll uh, just... Uh... Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation, Alex. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm very glad to be here with you in such a great and prestigious company. I'm the founder of Global Vision, a um, real estate platform established in 2004, um, covering various uh, real estate areas and expertise from property management and attraction to asset and property management services. Um, as Alex mentioned, we already operate in uh, several real estate markets in Central Eastern Europe, Romania being the most active in our portfolio. Uh, but also uh, large scale developments are done by Global Vision in Slovenia and Slovakia. Um, our competence and activities are concentrated today on delivering high quality business parks, um, covering office industrial logistics and retail functions, either on a uh, build to suit basis or as a shell and core space is ready to be leased to and fitted out by the occupiers of our developments. Um, the movie that was prepared is actually about uh, the largest um, development uh, projects that we have uh, in progress. Um, it's called Constanza Business Park. And um, I just want to say a number of things about why Constanza, why real estate in Romania and why Constanza. Uh, under all the uh, previous mentioned facts by the two gentlemen, uh, Secretary of State Rogan and Mr. Ilie, um, I think since 2010, the number of business and innovation hubs fostering new business ventures has exploded in Romania, uh, generating rising demand for office logistics uh, and light industrial real estate developments. Um, Romania's Black Sea shore is the EU's easternmost border, um, a major transportation hub and one of the most desirable locations in Europe, in my opinion. Uh, hence the interest of major manufacturers, carriers, and distributors requiring mixed-use modern properties. And uh, this is what actually Constanza Business Park is uh, already mainly providing to its tenants since this summer. Um, to us as uh, real estate developers, uh, this is a strategic location served by all modern transportation routes. Uh, we have Black Sea ports, Danube River, highway, um, railway, airport, 
being located at the end of the fourth pan European transportation corridor. Uh, Constanza is, of course, now you can see the, uh, the movie. Constanza is one of the largest uh, city of the Black Sea coast um, and one of the Europe's, I would say, largest untapped infrastructure and human resources potential. Uh, more than half a million people, population. Um, Constanza is uh, home to unique educational hub as well, uh, including a prestigious Naval Academy. Um, this is the reason why we have chosen Alex Constanza for uh, um, such a strategic and a large business park uh, to be developed on a land of 1 million square meter of land uh, with a potential of de developing business facilities up to 600,000 gross letable area. Um, since our company was established in 2004, we had various uh, private or institutional investors to place capital at the rate of uh, more than 500 million euro uh, business investment. And um, the perspective uh, sounds even better, I would say. Um, we have a pipeline covering uh, the main cities of Romania and another four cities in other three countries in Central Eastern Europe. Uh, with a total potential uh, of uh, investing of more than 600 million euro in the next couple of years, two, three years. Um, I strongly believe that uh, the growth potential of the local real estate market is quite, quite huge at this point, um, especially in segments like uh, logistics and light industrial or mixed use projects. And uh, I think the market will continue to be reconfigured in order to respond to a growing consumer demand for fast and more predictable product delivery. We all uh, saw what happens with uh, chain disruptions uh, since this COVID-19 pandemic started. Um, we all assisted to an increased e-commerce sales due to the same pandemic. Um, and I think all these things will actually trigger a uh, higher demand for both type of uh, assets, uh, industrial and, and, and logistics. Um, in short, Alex, what we see here in Romania at this point in time, uh, it's a good local context for real estate business parks. Um, and this is going to, again, to uh, trigger um, more investments in uh, in, uh, in various uh, places of, of Romania. I'm not sure if the movies are uh, are working. I, I can't see anything on my screen. Do you see anything? Yes, as well. Thank you. It's working. Okay. Good. Alex, if you have any particular question for us. Okay, I think uh... I think the, the movie uh, and that's, that's not a problem. Um, I mentioned almost the uh, uh, most important and critical aspects of the development uh, in Constanza Business Park. And um, speaking for uh, the general uh, context of investing in, in Romania, um, my feeling, my perception is that in the past, 10 years, um, this successful uh, route of uh, investors coming and uh, uh, delivering business from Romania um, had several facts uh, behind, strongly supporting uh, our economic growth. Uh, as the previous speakers mentioned, I think Romania has this advantage of uh, 100,000 students uh, going to Romanian's university every year. and. Uh, as far as I know, approximately a quarter of these graduates are STEM people, trained and qualified in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And I think they play a key role in um, 
the sustained growth of our economy and are critical components to helping Romania win its top position among foreign investors' preferences. So um, I'm going to jump in here, guys. This videos worked, I think, which is good. Um, so I want to do um, just a last couple of comments. I've, you know, I've been to Cluj and Yash recently and even Constantia, so I know where your location is there, uh, the business park there. I mean, one thing that Poland has done very well is it's uh, gone outside its capital city. So I can see that happening in Romania, you know, beyond Bucharest, into Timisoara, into Yash, into Cluj, et cetera. Um, and the, the IT tech side is so strong. Shared services is very strong. Um, what else are can you guys do to kind of raise the profile of Romania kind of globally? What are you and what can you be doing um, that you think might drive even further investment into Romania? And, and the reason I guess I ask that is that Lithuania is very active. We see them quite actively doing things. and. And um, I think uh, Poland as a country doesn't do very much, but the cities do a lot. And I'm curious what cities are doing inside the various cities in Romania, but also at a national level in West Romania. Um, you have a great story to sell, and I'm curious what else you think you could be doing to, to get that word out. I think we can, we have to keep uh, developing the public infrastructure. This is one of the key factors for um, bringing here more and more um, production premises, uh, logistics hubs, um, research and development centers. And I think Romania has a lot of potential to to further develop some uh, historic regions of the country that are today still underdeveloped. And here uh, I have in mind when I say that Moldova and the south of Romania. Uh, of course, this development must come into um, a package with the development of the infrastructure, as I said. And um, I anticipate that one, the infrastructure will be developed. Um, uh, new um, transportation corridors will be created for the circulation of both goods and people. Um, I also believe that Romania has, uh, can play a key role in the region um, in any uh, kind related, in any uh, thing related to uh, regional security of matters. Um, and I believe uh, an increased security environment in the region will trigger more uh, investments in uh, both real estate and critical infrastructure projects, including the recently announced um, highway Constanza dance. I think it's it's a very relevant example for what can uh, trigger further developments here in Romania. Mm -hmm. Tom, if I can uh, just uh, jump in, I think I think one of the important words uh, that this conference is uh, is is emphasizing, but that really answers your questions, is about synergy, integration, and interconnection. It's not just about Romania or Poland being a success story or the next. Uh, success uh, Central European countries. It's about all these synergies. Uh, when Sorin talks about Gdańsk to Constanza, when the State Secretary talks about the new support from the US government for nuclear uh, in Romania, and I, I want to give uh, the State Secretary uh, an opportunity to say a few words about that. Nuclear, as you know, in this part of the Black Sea region, it's about Bulgaria and Romania. Uh, so it's about finding, uh, whether it's industrial parks or whether it's business parks that are attracting innovations, digitization, 5G, that is not just for only one country or for one market. But Mr. State Secretary, if you can say a few words about the, 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 the U.S. support on the yes. nuclear part. Yes, I would like to, I was very glad that let's say the market participants that actually are in the real economy and uh, act, uh, active, uh, actively acting in, in, in these fields have this, um, this uh, opinion and scanning of the, of the Romanian opportunity at this moment. I, I would like to highlight uh, the, the strong support that uh, um, Romanian authorities together with the uh, United States authorities are going to 
in order to promote nuclear uh, development in Romania. As we have known, we started more than 30 years ago with the both two unit uh, reactors in Candu Technologies. And today we want to, by 2030, to have the third and even uh, after 2030, immediately the, the fourth reactor. Of course, on, uh, on 2026, we'll have to uh, rehabilitate the, the old unit that was commissioned in uh, 1996. But all over this, this is important that we have this, uh, this support and Exim Bank of United States um, take this, uh, this uh, opportunity and uh, this MO was signed that we're going to follow around uh, 7 billion euro to be invested in the, in the Romania. And also not just in the infrastructure, not in nuclear development or also in the infrastructure. I would like to, to point out that on the following years uh, are expected to, to be uh, reshuffled and to, to be put in progress more than 2,800 kilometers of railways to be developed and rehabilitated. There are new initiatives for uh, infrastructure investments, especially in the highways, and we have seen in the last uh, in the last years a lot of contracts, new contracts have been have been signed, and this will promote the transport of goods uh, and also the interaction of Romania with uh, with the neighboring countries and also with the with the, the rest of uh, rest of Europe. This is very important. We have seen new many companies in the research and development um, sector in Romania and we welcome we have noted uh, many IT uh, ITNC companies high level of technologies that have uh, R&D uh, centers in in Romania a lot of people involved there especially educated in in IT that are provided by the by universities and uh, I am happy also that to see the results, economic results, uh, uh, 2020, which are showing a significant increase with the previous uh, Q2 when we have all of them who have been uh, uh, very affected by this uh, by this uh, situation we we are passing through. This is are, are very very important. Uh, of course, to do the fact the new plan of recovery and resilience will be available for, from next year on the European level. A lot of investments through these grants will gonna go to the, um, to the economy, infrastructure, also health, uh, and not only. All this with the transformation of, uh, of the energetic system. Uh, with uh, welcoming investments which are foreseen for the next decade up to uh, 10 gigawatt hour renewables and nuke will help us to to promote new new technologies and to to go also for uh, support in uh, in uh, in hydrogen we foreseen the black sea where we have we expected that the the new majority that we're going to have in the parliament by uh, by December, we're gonna look very carefully in order to attract the investment and also to exploit the um, resources, natural gas resources there, and of course the newcomers that it's offshore wind with a huge potential on the Black Sea. All this uh, give me the um, the the feeling that there are opportunities in the market and uh, the one that will gonna have and uh, take these opportunities at the beginning will be only gonna be the the winners so these are the moment my my expectation i am i'm quite positive on, on this well alex if we can uh put the panel and i think uh, i think ending on a positive note must be the best thing to do in this 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 year right Yes, I, I, I'd like to give uh, Mr. Ilya also uh, one word. Uh, how, how do you see post-COVID uh, uh, recovery, uh, not only in the traditional manufacturing, but in new areas? What can Romania and the region uh, offer to investors from the U.S.? Yes, I, would, I wanted to say something. So uh, uh, regarding your question about what can we do, 
I'm pretty sure that uh, we'll have to do a little bit more in promoting. I will come back immediately to your question, but this was what I was trying to answer the, the previous question. So I think that Romania is not enough promoted. People do not know what is Romania, where is Romania. They are mixing the. So this is one thing I will uh, I will try to to do. And the government, I think, I'm, I'm sure, is is doing this uh, very hardly. Um, about the COVID, you see very well that is uh, is uh, everybody is confronted with this, and we do not see for the moment the end of the of the pipe so we are hoping we hoped in march that would be ended in june then in june that would be ended in uh, and so further uh, we will have to be very careful about this uh, from my point of view uh, the investors uh, there were only i mean just uh, from 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 our pool of investors only four postponed their investment for the rest they are just get, keep on going we have companies because the construction field, the construction sector worked. So uh, the, the green field are, are still developed. So we didn't really have problems. And there were a lot of questions about, uh, about investing uh, from, from different countries, from different companies. Uh, uh, ask us uh, what are the, the, the investment potential in Romania. So uh, I think for, for the moment, that uh, promoting through this digital uh, device, di digital uh, 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 possibilities we have, it's very important. And we'll see, I see that the government is doing a lot of things. You know, we have this uh, isolation, we have a lot of, uh, of uh, working from home. Uh, myself, I'm sending from home now uh, these images. So um, we can be very efficient. We don't have to, to be, but yes, it's a, it's, it's a difficult question. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, the panelists, and th and thank you, Tom, Tom, Tom for this opportunity. Uh, Romania is open and ready for for business. Well, thank you, Over guys, to you. for being here and very impressive panel that you guys put together, Alex. I think you're instrumental in getting it done, and uh, very impressive. Glad to see all of you guys here, and it's a great download in 45 minutes about what's happening in Romania. So, uh, thank you all very much. Thanks for your time. Uh, Feel free to rejoin the hop in, and if you guys want to talk to you for sure, uh, and there are a couple more panels left. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.